and welcome to Lilybug Learning. My name is Alexandria and today we're going to make a quick yet simple and inexpensive fun spring craft for toddlers. The pinless pinwheel. Now you need a few items and it's best to have uh, parent supervision when doing this. You'll need some very good sturdy paper. Construction paper will work but it, doesn't, it isn't as durable when you're dealing with toddlers and some of the fun that they're going to have with this. A stock scrapbook paper, comes in many colors, is uh, very suggestible for this craft. You will also need pipe cleaners, a stapler, a ruler if you do not have a paper cutter, a single hole punch, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some dowels. These can just be purchased at the dollar store. You can get a pack of 20 for a dollar. So you can make several pinwheels for your garden if you like. You're going to begin by taking your piece of paper and making it into a square. I'm going to cut using my paper cutter. And you're going to make this piece of paper into an eight and a half by eight and a half square. You can do this with your ruler and just your scissors as well. This part, of course, should be done by an adult as we don't want little fingers to get hurt. So I have my eight and a half by eight and a half square, as you can see. I'm going to then take a pipe cleaner, bend it in half, cut the pipe cleaner. You'll then have two pieces. I will take my square piece of paper and I will fold it in half to make a triangle. Just slightly crease it. Then I will take the opposite corners and make another triangle, like so. I will then take my scissors and I will cut on the folded line to about an inch to an inch and a half towards the center of my square. So as you can see, I have what looks like four triangles. I will then take my hole punch and take every second corner about a half of an inch in. I will punch a hole So I've now punched a hole in every second corner of my square, as you can see. I will then take my corner and fold it towards the center, lining up each one of my hole punches so they overlap one another. Once they overlap, I will then flatten just one side of my pinwheel and take my stapler and secure it on one side of the circles. And on the other side of my circles. So I've secured the middle of the pinwheel <clears throat> on either side of the hole punch circles. I can then Take the side that I folded down, pop it back up so that it can fly right in the wind. I will then take my pencil and punch a hole through my layered circles. I'll then take my dowel 
and my pipe cleaner, and I will wrap my pipe cleaner approximately three times around. This will give me the center of my pinwheel or the bud in the, in the front. I will pull the pipe cleaner off, and then I will proceed to take the pipe cleaner through the front of my pinwheel, through the holes. There is the center of my pinwheel. I will then take my dowel and the back part of the pipe cleaner and tightly wrap it about an inch and a half down, three to four times. Then I will wrap it towards the top of the dowel until my pipe cleaner is virtually wrapped completely around the dowel. And there you go. There you have your pinwheel. Now the fun part comes for a toddler. They can decorate with stamps, stickers, crayons, make their pinwheel truly their own.